Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Guy, guy. and I'm here today with another little pickup video. Oh, I keep knocking my phone. I'm trying to keep it still. Um, I just did some tradings today. Um, my partner wanted me to try and sell a DS, um, but they wouldn't take it. They said it was there was nothing wrong with it. They just seen like a little tiny little bit in the cartridge slot that was a bit weird looking. So they said we don't want a chance taking it. It works and stuff, so I'm gonna try sell it on Facebook, um, and and do it do it like that. Um, so, um, but I I sold uh, some Guitar Hero guitars that I don't use um, with the game uh, for Guitar Hero Live. I didn't use it. I, I think I used it once. Um, I sold two PS2 controllers, which I don't even know if they still work. Um, so I took those in because they were worth £10 a piece. So whenever I see PS2 controllers, um, I know CEX actually don't test them. So uh, I can get £10 a piece on those um, if I see them cheap and stuff. Uh, and I also sold a G-Con because I didn't need it. Um, uh, so I've got one PS3 game, um, two individual Blu-rays, two Arrow Blu-rays, and three Blu-rays that I just couldn't believe. Um... Four, uh, three TV series, uh, one normal DVD set, one box set, and one box set of DVDs. Start with the PS2 get free game. Just Crisis 2. Um, I know there's the, but this has got the limited edition cover variant. It's the standard version of the game, but I know they have remastered Crisis 1, 2, and 3. That's the version that I'll probably end up playing. But I, I guess I can always try out the original version. If I like it, then, you know, maybe buy the remastered version but it was only £1.50 I got £72 which isn't bad considering all of the stuff I took in was just accessories not even a lot of accessories so you know just not one for the collection put that down there uh then we'll show off the uh the DVDs um first up um another Hollywood DVD one four pack this the thriller one for £1.50 comes with a father's revenge separate lives Cover up and tunnel vision. Um, I, I I'm trying to hunt down all of these ones because I, I don't know. I like the I like the these sets. They like remind me of Mill Creek. I have actually got one coming from CEX, another one of the twelve pack ones. It was meant to turn up yesterday, but the post postman said that they couldn't deliver it for some reason. So it should hopefully turn up tomorrow. Um, Royal Mail is just a nightmare. They knock the door once. And if you don't answer within two seconds, they'll go, oh, we don't, we're not going to give it to you. Um, I also have Not Going Out Season 1, um, which I also got from CEX. But I'll, I'll show that off tomorrow with the uh, other one, if it turns up in my hand. Because obviously it'll be Wednesday. So, yep, yeah, four films there. Um, just standard uh, one-sided disc with two films on. Then... I um I recently uh, wanted to get the Mrs Brown Boys. I got the first season in a, uh, a bundle deal, um, so I picked up series two and series three. Um, this show I absolutely love. This show um, I watched it with my nan. I watched it with my aunt. They love it. Um, I'm so I was really surprised actually that they didn't do more series. Um, she's done a lot of stuff, or he's done a lot of stuff, but Mrs Brown's done a lot of stuff, but. Um, they did like the live DVDs, they've done like the Christmas ones, but they only did three original series. Uh, I thought there was more, um, but this show is hilarious. Um, and it's not on, I'm surprised this isn't on BritBox because um, it's actually from Universal, that's crazy. Um, this particular one, but I'm surprised it's not on BritBox because it was on BBC. Um, and also I was quite happy to find all round to Mrs. Boys, they were 150 each. Um, this was the spin-off show that he did, um, or she did, he did, whatever you want to call it. Um, two disc set, and it basically, this was the spin-off show of, it's basically like a talk show from what I've heard. Um, it includes all of the episodes on here, I believe. Um, 30 minutes of bonus content. It's uh, 400 and... Uh, where? Uh, four hours and 53 minutes in total and then 30 minute bonus features so I'm, I'm, I assume it's got all of the episodes on here so I want to check that one out then I didn't even realize that there was a tv show of Blade um, this is a complete series all 13 episodes 
um, includes uh, un it's the unrated version uh, includes some commentary uh, documentary promos uh, and it comes in a digipack design um, I didn't even know that they did a TV show for this um, it came out in 2008 so I'm, I might have remembered seeing something about it but for whatever reason I don't remember watching it and I don't think this is on anything at least not to my knowledge anyway but still it's a pretty nice set for five pounds you can check it out um short show and you know marvel i love to marvel then the other dvd set was this for six pounds it's the hollywood legend and it's got eight movies in here although i'm confused because i paid six pounds for it it's got an 18 written on the side but actually when you open it up and take all the movies out all the movies are actually pg movies um they're all classic ones uh on the beach uh they don't have any special features uh so on the beach but they are just individual dvds um yeah i don't understand why it's an 18 because they're all um rated pg so i don't know why the box is an 18 uh the vikings kurt douglas there oh. Ernest Borgline, Tony Curtis, some classics here. Unforgiven with Burt Lancaster and Un uh, Audrey Hepburn, another classic here. I like classic movies. Um, the Tomorrow Crown Affair, Steve McQueen, Faye Dunaway. I'm trying to watch more classic movies. Uh, the Misfits, uh, Clark Gable. Oh, it's got Marilyn Monroe in there, so you know that's going to be a classic. I think this might have actually been in one of the books that I've been listening to. Judgment at Nuremberg. Uh, William Shatner's in this one. Uh, Barefoot Contessa. Humphrey Bogart. Ava Gardner. A lot of these like uh, from 50s, 40s, 50s, early 60s. And then last was The Apartment with uh, Jack Lemmon and Fred McMurray and uh, Shirley MacLaine. So some classics in there. Uh, uh, the outer case is a little bit beat up, but it, it comes in like that. The outer case is a little bit beat up. I might get rid of the outer case, but um, I don't understand why it's got a rated of an 18 on the outside. I really don't when none of those movies are 18s. Maybe they just have to package it that way. I don't know. And then last, we got some Blu-rays. I was so hyped when I seen these last ones. I'll show you them in a minute. First up, uh, the Dictator, the extended cut. Um, this is a dumb movie, of course, part of the Satcha Barra Cohen, what I like to call the trilogy, of course. Uh, you've got uh, um, Ali G, then you had um, uh, Borat, and then Bruno, and then you've got The Dictator. Similar um, type of movies. This is a dumb movie, but it's, it's cheap entertainment. It was 50p, and for 50p, I'll take it. It's the extended cut. Comes with some bonus features. Um, some bonus features and the extended with almost 20 minutes of extra footage. Then I um, stick in with the classic um, uh, movies, Doctor Strange Love. Now that I think about it, I'm not too sure if actually I've already got this on my um, Stanley Kubrick collection video. I don't think it is on there, but I'll have to double check it. Um, it's Doctor Strange Love, classic movie right there. Um, you can't go wrong with some classic movies. This movie is basically um, about these uh, people that are trying to go to war and start a war, but it's a it's a comedy. But it's all it's actually when you actually listen to this stuff that it's based on, it's all to do with actual sexual innuendos and sexual stuff. So of course Stanley Kubrick is, is a master was a master of of his work. So I'll have to double check because I'm not sure if this was included on that Stanley Kubrick collection. Um, but even if it, even if it is, it's cool to have a nice standalone variant because um, this probably has special features that isn't on that version. Then two Arrow videos, first from Arrow Academy, El Asesino, um, I think this is Italian, and I think it's Italian for um, the Assassin, El Asesino, uh, it's a two disc set, oh it is the two disc version, um, and it comes with uh, outer artwork, 
reversible artwork of course arrow one of the best companies putting video uh, dvds and blu-rays out there just amazing work um no no cards or anything here so got that artwork and that one i actually prefer i think i prefer the uh, original artwork actually So yeah, it comes with a bunch of um, high definition. Arrow Video, just one of the best companies putting movies out there. Great special features, amazing transfers. Again, if you don't want to pay pay for Arrow um, DVDs and Blu-rays in person, I'd recommend subscribing to Arrow Video um, subscription. It's only like three pounds something a month. Definitely worth the money. Um, but Arrow just just do an amazing job. Some classic cult movies, um, just movies that you don't, you won't see anywhere else. Um, you know, so just I love what Arrow are doing. And this was five pounds. Oh, the dictator was fifty p. Um, so for five pounds for an Arrow movie, I'll take it. I don't know if I've got any Arrow Academy ones. Um, Arrow Academy was sort of more um, drama movies and. Uh, uh, more critically acclaimed movies and not necessarily their horror stuff but of course uh, El Asesino and then last from Arrow um, was it Videodrome I've seen this movie I watched it on Netflix a couple years ago this movie is surreal as fuck I mean this is a crazy movie and for a tenner not a bad price for £10 this is quite a sought after one um, comes with the newly commissioned artwork and the classic artwork, which I'll be honest, um, I think I prefer the new artwork. They're both not that great, to be honest. <laughs> but um, this movie is, is crazy. It's basically about, um, it stars um, James Woods, who basically finds this um, TV signal that's showing weird and crazy videos and movies and, and stuff. And it turns out that it it's all to do with hypnosis and stuff. Of course, David Cronenberg, uh, um, really a master of his work and really some, do some amazing work and stuff. And then last but not least, I, I couldn't believe it. I was so pissed because I also wanted the fourth one, but I didn't have enough. Um, Toxic Avenger 1, 2 and 3 on Blu-ray. And these are just amazing, amazing um, sets here. First up, we have the original Toxic Avenger, and the slipcover is amazing. I absolutely love that. So many special features on here. Um, has the Japanese version on here as well, which is cool. Um, Lloyd Kaufman, a trauma video, just, you know, just over-the-top crazy stuff. But what drew me, me into these were these green cases. Absolutely awesome cases. And they do come with the original artwork as well, if you prefer. But I love that new artwork. And uh, I think it even comes with a poster in all of these as well. That is awesome. Nice uh, poster of the original Toxic Avenger. And I might put these up, actually, because I don't actually have any uh, movie posters. They're smaller posters, like maybe a 3 size ones. But still, that is awesome. Um, Toxic Avenger, just an insane movie. There's literally a part where they run over a baby's head. That, that that tells you all you need to know about these movies. And this one was £12, which isn't a bad price considering this is probably quite a, a limited variant here. I'm going to put this up in my groups and find out more information about it. Then the second one, part two with the slipcover. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this one doesn't have um, any extra... It does have some special features and stuff, but it don't have any other versions of it. Um, again, green version, and it does come with the poster, which is awesome. Again, I might put these posters up in frames, I don't know. That is an awesome poster right there. Yeah, it's got titties and things on there, but it's artwork, so it's alright to show it. Um, that is amazing artwork right there. I might put that up. That is awesome. That is one of the coolest artworks I've seen. I might put these posters up. They're so cool. And it does come with the original artwork in there as well. Again, I don't know who put these out. What company put these out? Was it just through Chroma? 88 Films. Um, this one's from 88 Films. Um, yeah, 88 Films and from Chroma. Um, 
I remember years ago these were on Blu-ray, but they came in red discs, and I think they were Region 1, or Region A. And then last, um, we had Toxic Avenger 3, um, this one didn't come with the slip cover, but it came with, um, this, this one, it's weird, because this one doesn't have any slip cover, it's a slimmer case, and it doesn't actually have, um, any posters or anything in there. Well, this one didn't come with the poster, but... Still, and that one was um, £8, that one was 10 and that was 12 The other, the fourth one was also £10. Um, if, I, if I go into CEX again in the future and I have a tenner, I might pick it up just to complete the set. But that is, these were just awesome. Those two posters, I've got, I might put them up because they are awesome, awesome posters, especially this for the second one. These movies are just insane movies. I've wanted to check them out for a long time. Um, they're not overly long movies. Uh, the Second one's 109 minutes, the first one's 82 minutes, but the Japanese cut is 92 minutes, and the third one's also 109 minutes as well. So, yeah, and these are region three, by the way, A, B, and C, which is awesome, as most, I think, uh, all Blu rays should be region three, to be honest. Um, I was so hyped to get these because, um, I, I, like I said, lately I'm just, I prefer getting Blu rays and DVDs rather than games, to be honest. Uh, um, like I said, the main games that I'm really playing have just been on TV, uh, on, on the Xbox and Game Pass and, and what I've been playing. So, you know, I've been playing Time Splitters. So, um, yeah, I'm so, I'm, I'm annoyed at CEX, but CEX, man, don't put stickers on slip covers. That, that is one thing I hate. If you're going to put stickers on them, put them on, on that and then just do it like, like that, you know? But there we go, that's what I picked up today. Some awesome stuff. Like I said, these three were just amazing. I mean, I could probably sell these for like 15 quid a piece and people would pay that. But I'm not going to. I want to keep them and check them out, of course. But very happy to have them. But there we go, that was today's pickups video. Um, I'm going to be putting some more stuff up for sale and get some stuff done. But of course, tomorrow wednesday so i should be alone tomorrow so we'll have the weekly vlog hopefully that other dvd comes from cx um hopefully the postman actually doesn't knock on the door and walk away within two minutes i don't see why you just don't leave it by the front door and put a card through and say left by the front door i don't know um but there we go and as always guys if you enjoyed today's video feel free to leave a like and of course comment below let me know what your favorite pickup from this mine has definitely got to be these Toxic Avengers. I just never thought I'd ever get these on Blu-ray, let alone in, in a green case. And as always, guys, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch at Mad Tiger. Um, I might be streaming tomorrow, finishing off um, uh, Houses of Ashes. But as always, guys, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.